Well, welcome everyone to our Wesley Biblical Seminary Alumni Association Facebook Live with Interim President Dr. Matt Friedemann. We're so thankful uh, for your time, Dr. Friedemann, to, uh, to be here with us. I know you are a busy guy with uh, life and ministry and family, but uh, we just want to take uh, a few minutes to get caught up on the seminary and uh, everything that's going on. Thanks for thanks for joining us. Well, wow. It's an honor, first off, to be on an alumni page of Wesley Biblical Seminary. We love our alumni. Uh, one, one of the reasons you can say I love my alumni is because I've taught a good many of them uh, down through, I think we 37 years or something crazy, almost four decades of teaching here. And and so love the alumni. Love you, Michael. You're, you're one of those guys uh, down through the ages and uh, just a great group of people. And we said the other day, you know, the sun never really goes down on WBS because we're all over the world. So anytime uh, the sun's going down, it's it's coming up on somebody else. So we really appreciate all our people out there who have or have been making disciples of the nations that make disciples of the nations. And so it's what we're in the business of doing. Actually, we've changed our motto now to say uh, trusted leaders for faithful churches. But at the end of the day, we're making disciples. And so it's a it's a great enterprise. And it's a real honor to be here today with you, Michael. Well, this is an exciting time in the life of the seminary. There's a lot going on. We've had things like tremendous enrollment. There's the capital campaign is well underway. There have been lots of special events, developments with the Globe Methodist Church. Uh, but it's also a time of transition. And you have stepped into the role as interim president. How is that going? And uh, give, just give us an update on uh, on, on the, the life, and, life and happenings of the seminary. Well, you know, I'm, I'm a professor, not an administrator, but uh, I'm wide open to filling any role that is necessary to keep this thing moving in a, in a great direction. And boy, it's going in a great direction. Uh, you're right. Um, first off, the, the presidential transitions happened because Matt Ayers has resigned, uh, was uh, suffering um, from, I don't know, there's got to be a better word for it, but just burnout, uh, just kind of the time of his life right now, seven kids at home. And uh, he'd been in Haiti 13 years, still dealing with some of the issues there. And we just, we love Matt and he has set us up well for the future. So what we can say is, I don't think we've skipped a beat since he left. Uh, and so I think I can fairly say uh, that we have, you know, since he left, we're only in five weeks into this or something crazy. So uh, since he left, we got more students than ever before at Wesley Biblical Seminary. Since he left, that's just in the last five weeks, more money than ever before at Wesley Biblical Seminary. So just those two things alone are pretty cool. And of course, I really like the student part of that because that means we got more disciples than ever before. They get a lot of these numbers here. Uh, how many people were in the seminary, Michael, when you were here, by the way? 120 to 150, probably. Yeah, so today with total of everything, and that, that would be degree seeking, uh, course of study. And we have 307 uh, course of study students from the Global Methodist. Wow. 307 we we're the global methodist seminary at this point and it's a it's a real honor it's a it's a privilege and we don't say hey look at us we just say praise god from whom all blessing flow but we got 307 courses study students right now but everything put together including our lay program we are educating 650 plus students this semester it's hilarious it's wonderful wow. it's an honor it's a privilege and again let me just say praise god from whom all blessings flow for any of that, because it's all because of him. Wow, that's that's tremendous and amazing. Just the growth of all the various degree programs and offerings has, has been just mind mind blowing. Yes, the faculty's doing well. Uh, give give us an update. Um, a lot of people know, but some people may not. Um, tell us about the faculty. Who's on the faculty? Uh, what do they got going on? I know. No, no, uh, no. Been a lot of publications. Yeah, uh, publications seem like they've been coming out right and left books. And um, uh, I know Dr. Schreiner, Dr. Vassar, they've they've cranked out things. You've cranked out uh, some books. Uh, tell us, t just kind of give us an update maybe on the faculty and some of those other pieces. Yeah, well, one of the things we really tried to get going uh, in the last few years have been this this publications thing. We know we need to do better because uh, publications help you educate people well beyond your uh, purview. In other words, well beyond the Wesley Biblical Seminary family, as well as just simply well beyond even the Wesleyan tradition. So I'll get to that. In fact, bring that up later because I'll forget the, the Good Works book. But uh, what it's, what's been wonderful there is just to see our guys responding to that. So 
Uh, Steve Blakemore had a book come out a couple uh, a couple semesters ago now, maybe two semesters ago, which actually was his dissertation. And so that that was kind of fun to watch. Uh, Dave Schreiner, hard to even keep up with the stuff he's putting out, uh, put out great stuff all the time, including commentaries, uh, beautiful stuff. And so we're just kind of clipping along at these things. Uh, Andy Miller, by the way, had a book out, out on Jude just recently. That's just been, recently. A, it's a fun read and uh, it's a great church study. So, and then Matt Ayers, oh my goodness, the stuff that he put out in the last two years is just phenomenal. I'm, I, I know we've never had a president uh, that has come close to matching that kind of record of just putting materials out there. Um, and so it's, it's been, and the last one was holiness that was written by, uh, Matt and Chris Bounds and, uh, my son, Caleb Friedman. So a lot of really great things out there. And we're really, Oh, oh there it is. There it is. Ladies and so gentlemen. So if you don't have it, holiness, uh, this, this is a great book. It's, uh, sitting on, sitting on my shelf right now. Uh, that's a good one. Uh, we've got, uh, the other book you just mentioned uh, by Matt Ayers, the Holy Spirit. Uh, these yes. are these are here on my desk, uh, along with uh, this book, which we'll get back to here here in a little bit. Yeah, right, right. But uh, yeah, you can go online, get those. You can uh, find those wherever wherever books are sold. But I would encourage all of our alumni uh, to really dig into the publications that our faculty are are pumping out. Just tremendous tremendous work uh, at a at a very high level. At, not just a, a blessing to the church, but raising the profile, uh, the academic profile of the seminary. And, and it's it's just a, a, a tremendous blessing. So, man, it, that's that's all exciting. Uh, great numbers uh, when it comes to enrollment. Uh, tell us about you've got you've got an administrative team there. You got uh, Andy Miller, Dr. Andy Miller's there. Uh, tell us tell us who's on your team. I know some folks uh, some folks are, are well connected, but some folks aren't. Um, Tell, tell us about your, I guess, your team. Who are you working with? Yeah, well, yeah, it's Matt Ayers' team, and uh, I, I get the opportunity right now and the honor to uh, sit in here with him. And and because he sets up such a great team, that's why we haven't skipped a beat. We can just keep going. Everybody's staying in their lane. Everybody's doing what uh, God has called them to do. So that's why we can say even five weeks ago, we're better now than we were five weeks ago. That's And I don't know who can say that. It's, 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 a, it's a beautiful thing Jesus has done here. So... As you know, Andy Miller, uh, who uh, is our academic dean and doing a, doing a great job, we have uh, Ethan Kelly looking over our finances, and it's it's always nice to have a, a lawyer as well as a financial guy wearing the same hat. Um, of course, I'm not going to name all the team, but uh, we got Elijah Friedman, who is in charge of enrollment, uh, Ken Roach, who's uh, doing great stuff on publications, and frankly, he does so many good things, we just let him do all kinds of things, so it's uh, if we ever have a job in the afternoon, we're thinking, man, how do we do that? Who are going to get to do that? Call Ken. He gets her done. I mean, does quick work and, and beautiful work. And then, of course, Caitlin Godfrey, who uh, is uh, our you know person in charge of raising funds around here. And uh, Matt uh, basically put her in charge of that. And it's an easy thing to say, let's keep going because she's got a lot of great contacts. And our, any of our alumni out there right now that says, well, I know someone that uh, you all need to get to meet. Uh, Caitlin uh, is the person to get in charge of that. And then in all likelihood, if it's uh, someone that um, might be able to give some serious dollars, uh, I can swoop in and, and be a part of that discussion. So just exciting stuff, a great team. And again, everybody's getting stuff done for the glory of God. And we haven't missed a beat. Thank the Lord. Praise the Lord. Well, you mentioned it earlier, uh, uh, trusted leaders for faithful for faithful churches is kind of the heartbeat of, of where the seminary is and uh, a, just a, a, a tremendous blessing. But uh, part of the way we're accomplishing that is through the steadfast campaign. Yes. And for the folks that don't know, we are in the middle of a capital campaign. We've been in the kind of private phase and we're just now moving kind of to the public phase of the campaign. Uh, I know you guys had a big event here just, I think, last week. Right. Um, tell us tell us where we are. How's that going? And, and uh, yeah, how can people be involved? So we've raised about 76% of a $4.1 million goal. So uh, with that, we want to endow uh, some chairs for the faculty because that becomes uh, uh, endowment that just brings substantial uh, stability to your institution. And, and, of course, we are stable. We want to be more so moving ahead. And then, of course, it'll be student scholarships as well as funds for, again, just 
added stability to a number of programs across the board. Very excited about that, 76% raised. And so the the public phase of that comes in, we're, we're, we're three-fourths of the way done. So we're just asking people to respond now. If you haven't known about it, it's a great way to get involved with our school. And uh, the other great way to get involved with our school, Michael, is just simply saying, I want to support this place because I love this place on a on a monthly basis. And so uh, $25 a month, $50 a month, whatever you can uh, do, uh, per, particularly as an alumnus, uh, I think, uh, Michael, what we've always said, and I'm an alumnus of a seminary too, uh, that, you know, no one's counting on us making a million dollars. And so we uh, we typically don't do that. We're not rich guys, but I think everybody has a, a special affection for their school, you know, and a special affection for the professors of the school. So, Michael, I'm, I'm going to say it'd be a kind of a cool thing just to say, I'm going to send in 25 bucks a month just to say, hey, thank you. And by the way, I'd like to give a shout out to name a professor, name your favorite professor. And just uh, do it that way and do that 25 bucks a month in honor of a, of a professor. Uh, that would be a, a way cool thing. And some of us have been here a long time, but there's others of us who are, are long gone from the school. We still need to be given a hip hip hooray for because God used them in our lives. So it might be a kind of a fun way to raise some money for some, from some alumni. Absolutely. So if you want to make a, a one time or recurring uh, donation, uh, we'd love to see some of those recurring donations, wbs.edu slash donate. Uh, you can go there right now. You can uh, you can sign up to make a special gift or a recurring gift. And we would love to see a lot of people during this particular season, uh, this strategic season in the life of the seminary, come along as regular monthly supporters. But we'd also love to see uh, just hundreds of our alumni come along and be partners in the capital campaign, the steadfast campaign, which is going to set the seminary up uh, for expanded impact into the future. And maybe maybe talk to me just a little bit about the campaign. So the campaign is set up, uh, is, it's for over three years, right? And right. people can, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, people can sign up for any any particular amount that they want. Yeah, let's uh, just say some, it. right. Let's say someone out there wanted to give $1,000 to the campaign, but you want to do it over three years. No, no problem with that. That's how I gave. As I gave a, a, a amount of money for us, it was a substantial amount of money, but across three years, less substantial. So uh, we can handle it. And uh, we we feel, of course, I've been here in this school for so long and believing in it so much, it was easy for me to make a gift that way. And I, I know there are a lot of people out there that feel the same way about our school. It just has meant so much in our lives. It was a pivotal point. And uh, I just help them out either in the campaign or with a regular monthly given. Either way, it's a beautiful thing to do for the seminary that you love. Yeah. I was just trying to think back. Is this year number 38 or 39 for you? Yeah. I'm in my 37th. So uh, 37th. Exactly. Okay. If I am uh, if I'm honored enough to pass a May or so, I can start saying the other thing. I'm beginning my 38th. Uh, okay. It seems like yesterday and forever like i the only adult position in life i've known so got down with school came here and been here ever since that's man what a, what a what an impact and, and what a legacy you've had not just on my life but on thousands of lives that have have come come through wbs and uh even in an exponential way beyond that so uh the campaign and you mentioned that uh, a uh, significant portion is going to endowed scholarships or to endow chairs for for faculty. Yeah, the uh, basic significant two categories. Is, yeah, the basic yeah, two categories are uh, chairs. You know, that's endowment and scholarships. So if you you like the more immediate kind of giving, that's the scholarship. If you like the the longer term thing, that would be the endowment. And and then there are some other things thrown in to that dynamic, but uh, those are the two basic things. And we're really excited about what that can do for our school. Yeah, that's uh, that's really great. And so right now we're at just over 3.2, right? We're about 76%. Is that correct? Yeah, right, right, right. And the goal is 4.17. So we've got just about a little less than a million dollars to go. And, you know, I really think uh, there, our, our alumni could, uh, I think there's enough people out there. If we really, uh, if we really tried, we can make a significant dent in that, uh, in that amount. And so we're just going to put a challenge out there, uh, get involved, pray about it, think about it. And um, we would ask you to humbly make a 
make a, a contribution that every, gener generous is different for every person, uh, but we're going to ask you to make a generous donation uh, on behalf of uh, on, on behalf of those who have impacted us uh, so deeply. Uh, man, what a what a great uh, great thing that's happening! But you have a lot of things happening as well. One of those things is right here. This book, yeah. The Doctrine yeah. of Good Works, you, uh, Dr. Caleb Friedman and Dr. Tom McCall, both WBS alumni, uh, we're, we're honored to consider uh, have them in our ranks. But tell us about the book. Tell us it's gotten a lot of um, a lot of press. So, yeah, tell us about tell us about that. Well, uh, so I'm, I'm standing around uh, Evangelical Theological Society one day with uh my former student, my good friend, and I say my former student, I don't think he was in many of my classes, but uh, I was there when he was there, and I'm I'm proud to be able to say that. He's gone on to be a phenomenal scholar in the Wesleyan world. But having said that, uh, we were, were bemoaning at the back of a room that this word works has been weaponized almost against the faith. Incredible. So we just thought, he looked up and says, well, you want to write a book on that? And I, I, I prayed and fasted about it. And five seconds later, I said, you bet. It might be <laughs> seconds later. Anyway, didn't fast or pray long. We just, yeah, man, let's let's do that. So uh, we, we, it's a couple years later. And uh, he said, hey, why don't we fold Caleb in to do the biblical part? And I thought, perfect. So. Tom does the theological part of the book. Caleb does the biblical, biblical part of the book. And I actually do the practical part. I go around to see what are the churches doing good works? What's really wonderful about the book, though, and I, I particularly love Tommy's uh, part of this because he goes in and basically uses this. You think, who's against works? And most people say, you know, there's a lot of the Calvinists, you know, that want to weaponize the word and or so we've always thought. So he goes in and guess what he uses? He uses the Calvinists to prove the point. They're the ones that said that works are necessary for salvation. They said it over and over again. So you go back to the Scholastics, you go back to Davenant and, and Turretin and uh, Basin and, and uh, even Luther. Oh my goodness, Luther has some wonderful quotes on works. And uh, we just prove the point basically using their guys. And and there's not much to say after after Tommy gets done. So when I finally get to my part, uh, you know, I just get to say, and, and here the church is doing it. And so, and Michael used to go there, right? Day Spring Community Church is one of the churches that I, you know, this is what we've tried to make happen across the years. But I love going marching across town and, and going to the Presbyterian PCA Church, Redeemer Presbyterian, which was right across the street from our uh, north side drive location at the seminary if you remember michael and they're right. doing a job so they're largely an african-american community to, to to write this book was fun because i got to go around to a lot of people went to wbs board member and a former student he's now an alumni roberto stevenson i think he's got the largest protestant in mexico and uh, he's one of our alum uh, so i use his church i go to go to uh kenya and use Joyce Tanui's church. She's an alum, just to say. And I didn't use all WBS people, but I wanted to be sure to include them because I think that at Wesleyans, we ought to be really good at good works. And we're at our best. We are really good at good works. It was a fun book to put together. And get a load of this, Michael. It's Doctrine Book of the Year for 2024. Doctrine Book of the Year. I, I when we, I when I saw that I thought you know I've lived a long time now and here we go ding ding and uh, it's a it's a doctrine book nonetheless so so praise God for that the Lord really blessed us with that and uh, we've been laughing ever since man that's what what a what an awesome awesome ride uh, again if you if you have not seen it it is the doctrine of good works. Uh, looks just like this, available wherever books are sold. I'd encourage you to go out and uh, pick up a copy and dive right into it. You'll be uh, you'll be blessed. You've gotten a little bit of uh, kickback, right, from some of our some of our friends outside of our tradition, huh? Yeah, a little bit, but it's kind of like if, if you kick back against this, you got to go kick back against your guys. So uh, right. there's no one who wants to take Turretin on or Davenant or Bayes. You know, those guys are sacred, so you don't mess with them. 
And then on our side, John Wesley was saying the same stuff. But a lot of people say, yeah, of course, Wesley was. That's not a course. Was. Wesley was agreeing with those guys. And so uh, it just it was a fun it was a fun thing to put together and really proud of what our other guy, you know, the two WBS grads, the two WBS alums. Uh, those were the guys that really did the heavy lift on this book. And I'm really proud of them and happy to be associated with them with this volume. That's great. Well, this is also an exciting time in your personal life. You guys have a lot of uh, exciting things happening in your family. Tell us, uh, tell us about, about some of that. Yeah. Well, so Caleb just got married uh, to a Honduran woman who is in your hometown up there in Ohio right now. How's that Honduran woman doing with zero degrees? I've yet to see her. I think, uh, well, I, I saw her once, but I think since the cold weather set in, she's uh, stayed home. She's now, inside. Like every, well every she wise woman would. <laughs> so doing great. Joshua is a businessman here in town. Elijah is vice president uh, here at Wesley Biblical Seminary in charge of enrollment. Of course, enrollment's booming. We're sort of really happy with all that. Hannah is a school teacher in Clinton, Mississippi. Zeke is a worship leader in uh, in Lexington, Kentucky, at a large church there. And Isaiah is back here going to school. So Everything's going really great. And yeah, by the way, uh, that 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 best best looking redhead in Mississippi that I married is still good looking. So, and still godly as ever. I, I praise the Lord for Mary Friedman. We uh, we we all do too. We all do too. Hey, wanted to just uh, chat for just a minute about the uh, alumni reunion that's coming up here this summer, uh, August sixteen to eighteen. Uh, the Alumni Association is holding an all-alumni reunion. Uh, if you can uh, go on the website, uh, click on the alumni page, and there is a way for people to find out information about the reunion, uh, to register for the reunion, and uh, go ahead and you can make, make some of those payments. But this is a time where we want to create an opportunity for all of our alumni to come together to refresh and recharge and just kind of soak in the fellowship uh, and the presence of God and the fellowship of, of believers who that we've had this kind of same experience. And so for all of our alumni, we'd love for you to, to clear your calendar. And uh, we're going to be doing it in Georgia, just a little bit outside of Atlanta. If you're going to fly in, should be uh, should be an easy flight. But the uh, our alumni association, Nick, Dr. Nathan Doyle and uh, Diane Urey, Reverend Diane Urey, they are leading this initiative for us. And so you should be uh, getting some information uh, in your email about this. You should be seeing some things on social media. And we would love to see as many of our alumni there as possible. And uh, Dr. Freedom, I think you're planning uh, to be there or, or hope we're hoping that you can make it there. Um, we'll uh, just yeah, kind no, of, you know. Get... Yeah, absolutely want to be there. Unless something blows up on me, I'm, I am I intend to be. I'll be fun. If uh, the yeah. Uh, if a tenth of the people, well, I think they, I think they told me you were going to be there, so I just uh, I just assumed that was true. Maybe 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 somebody made that decision for you. I take orders from many people, so uh, if they say that it's true, it's almost assuredly true. So, well, tell us uh, just as as we kind of kind of wind down here, uh, part parting message. What what do you, what do you want the alumni to know, and uh, what can we do even in even in this you know even today um, to support you and and to support WBS. Yeah, you know, one of the things I'm trying to do is put a book together that uh, will be kind of a 50th year remembrance. So I'm going back in our history and I'm, it's not going to be large on history. Just I want to let you know what happened this decade. Here's some highlights, but then here's some perspectives out of that decade from various professors or some some various students. It ought to be a fun book to get put together. But what I'm learning is just the awesome thing the founders did when they put the school together. And what I'm also learning is so we still believe in Aaron Ford. We still believe in the transforming Holy Spirit that not only can, but does transform everyone yielded to that. I'm so very grateful that, that those things are still alive here. And I think our best day at the seminary are right now. I also think it's going to be a year from now. And better days two years from now. I think that's the kind of thing that the Lord's doing right now. But I want to make it very clear. There's no hubris here. There's no pride here. This is just, we are thrilled that, uh, let me just say personally, I'm thrilled that I'm here. Such a time as this. I don't, I don't feel like I deserve to be here. 
I'm just so, so very grateful because as I'm looking at our classrooms, I'm looking at our students, they are so full of life and so ready to learn. And again, it's just a beautiful thing to be a part of, Michael. And I think all of our alumni out there, uh, I want to be careful. This can take great pride, but I don't want to use the word pride. I, I can 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 really praise what he's done here. And it looks like if we can stay faithful, it looks like he's just going to continue to do amazing things in days and years to come. Well, we are we are so thankful uh, for WBS. It's witnessed the impact on our lives, and thank you to you for stepping in at this strategic time. We are uh, we're behind you, and we're behind WBS, and so we look forward to continue to walk uh, hand in hand, arm in arm, uh, with all of you and the, the administration, faculty, and staff. And we just thank uh, thank you for this time. It's been uh, it's been great to hear from you, and uh, hopefully, we'll look forward to uh, doing it again soon. Thank you, Michael. Been a real honor to be with you. And we love our alumni. Boy, do we ever love them. And we're so very happy with what Jesus is doing through them around the world. All right, everyone, be sure and go uh, check out um, check out the website. You can you can donate there. You can sign up for the reunion. Uh, be sure and share this with your alumni friends. And uh, we will look forward to seeing you all again very soon. Thanks, everyone.